Hello, and welcome back to Shovel Knight Spectre of Torment, where today we're going out on another adventure. So this time over here to the left for Tinker Knight. Let's do it. I wonder if it'll still be possible to trip him out of his first phase. From the shadows. Those conveyors don't increase our speed very much. Come on, buddy. Get... There we go. Interesting way to let us use these. And that seems dangerous, but running along the sides seems just fine. Ish. Still gotta be careful. Seems this is going to be a relatively short stage, judging by the number of checkpoints, but they could just be few and far between. Darn Electro Rat. So we actually need this to be lowered to an extent. Hang on. Okay, that just looks special. Oh, we needed that to be lowered as well. So that we could get through here. I could have gotten anywhere special if I had somehow raised that log all the way up. Maybe. Looks like this grants us access to the skull. And we need to get on top of this in time to jump. Um, excuse you. I do like our, how we use those mages' gears. I'm not a huge fan of the uh, big logs that we have to manage our way around. Seems this is going to be one of those hot and cold type stages where I both enjoy and dislike aspects of its platforming. So, use that when it's down, and then don't get mushed by these. Could have certainly gone through before getting mushed, but that's fine. Alright, come back up, there we go. to use this on the left to get back up because there's wax or whatever on the walls here. Maybe it's just oil? Either way, it's on the walls. Where it shouldn't be. At least if you ask me. But what do I know? I'm just an intruder, not the designer of this place.
So it seems we might need to actually use this little fella. But, no, we don't. If we did, I would have screwed myself. Being unable to attack up kind of hurts for Spectre Knight. And also getting repeatedly hit by the same enemy kind of hurts. But is entirely my own fault. And I kind of wanted those monies. Plus we can make that jump anyway. So, I see we've found some more darkness for the first time in a while. They really do act a little bit stingy with that darkness stuff. But hey, more darkness is good. So it makes sense that they would have it be somewhat uncommon, especially since you can turn a little bit less than one block of darkness into, like, 4 HP using this skull. And before I continue, I should probably grab the checkpoint. The checkpoints do often help, after all. So that's what, checkpoint 2? Or is it checkpoint 3? I haven't been counting. Let's not try and jump through the gears. Oh boy, an auto-scroller. Just what everyone always likes. Well, that uh, could have gone better. There's a little thing called patience that I seem to need to exercise, and yeah, it's checkpoint two, so... Still quite a bit of stage left. But, I imagine we'll be able to do just fine. Well, goodbye, little man. You've rocketed off into forever. And that almost ended poorly. When I see flying enemies, sometimes I wonder if I really should be killing them, because they could be useful jump targets. But then I see things like this, where it's literally jump targets on a string. And suddenly, they don't seem so hard to come by. Hooray, auto-scrolling done, for now at least. Do these both go down together or something? They do. Right, we can climb up the sides of these. I wonder. Can we follow these gears up in their little hidey hole? Yeah, we can go up there. There's just no value to it. Roger that. Well understood. I do like how Spectre Knight seems to have reach on these sword dudes. Ooh, that was close. Uh, 
That was almost very bad. Well, I guess it wouldn't have been too bad. We would have just gone back to the previous screen, which I can live with that. So... Ah, that's right. There are these things. And they exist. Alright. Kinda neat how they want us to interact with this to get that skull. And we can get over here too. But it looks like a possibly an alternate path. But hey, alternate paths often bring in alternate sources of cash. And those things, red skulls. for the gears and then do that so it looks like we're going to need to do it again in order to escape here time this right, we might be able to get... Oh, when we hit that, the thing falls in front of him. Yeah, if we time it right, we might get one of the gears trapped over there on the right, where we need it to be. Almost. There we go. Ah, but... And we've got the issue that we need to use one to get across to it. Thankfully, I ended up not falling to my doom there. And indeed, it was an alternate path. Fully alternate. Loops right back in to precisely the screen where we would have gotten to anyway. Oh, money! There we go. It's not much money, but it's still something. Excuse me, sir. I would thank you to not do so much damage to me. There we go. I don't know why I used that. Well, I guess because there was no loss to it, but... Yeah, there was a thing of food hiding right there. Didn't know it was going to be food, but I have my suspicions. They like to put food near checkpoints. Okay, we need to actually go with a quickness on this auto-scroller, it seems. Got the little missiles flying in too. Well, hey, um, this is probably not going too well, but hey, we're still alive and we're up near the midpoint ish. But now we've got no means to get higher up. The missiles stopped spawning. And it seems like, oh. We do have a means... Thanks, guy. We did have a means to get higher up. I just needed to remember it existed. So why are the conveyors here on hyperdrive? Most conveyors we can at least walk against. These ones, you walk in place. More of a treadmill than a conveyor. And 
thus ends the auto scroll. And I imagine this will be the final checkpoint. So what is this gonna do for us? It'll let us hit this wall. And there was value to it. So let's get that back up. And yep, this looks bossy. What are you, some kind of ghost? Get out of my shop, I have work to do. The Enchantress would like a word. We have an army to raise, and talented engineers are in short supply. Ha! You may be a tool, but I am not. Time to make short work of you. Oh, he's riding it. Can we knock him off of it? And then cause it to run into him? Ooh. Look at you being all fancy. This is cute how they've changed him. There. Now we're definitely for sure done with this boss fight and nothing else will happen. Oh, something else happened. Whoa, that's interesting. He's not riding it, but rather it's a separate entity. Okay, we need to not fall to our deaths. That's a thing we need to do. We didn't lose any cash for falling to our deaths. I'm not complaining, but it's interesting. And hey, we get to just start right off in phase two. That's good. I appreciate that. Okay, need to get ahead of this thing, or else we can't get high enough to... Wait. I, I need to really super remember that I have this feather. It's highly useful. Okay, um, get ahead, ride a missile, or get high enough that the feather can help. There we go. It's nice that you get so much darkness back, too. Because, yeah, that, that feather made that fight way easier. And if there's only one curio, we'll be able to afford the expensive armor and see how flashy it truly is. Okay. How many Karyos? Just one. Good. Blocks projectiles to charge up? What? Like, does the shield charge? Or... And... What does... Oh, it's a damage shield. And blocking projectiles with it makes it do more damage, then. So, does it just use darkness to activate it? Ooh, we can throw it, too. Yeah, it uses darkness to activate, and it takes just one... one block. That seems useful. This seems very useful. Like... Can the shield be broken? I imagine it has to be, otherwise this is completely overpowered. Well, let's go see about powering it up. Hello, little man. Oh, okay. Sure.
more powerful when fully charged. Seems useful. So, we've now gotten two very good-looking curios. And let's go ahead and grab this stuff. Ooh. That's neat. Though that scythe looks very thick. Oh, okay. So we can't do any dancing by holding up or anything, but we do get these after images. And that's kind of neat. Though, because I'm only able to record this in 30 frames per second at the moment. Well, not record, but only able to uh, export at 30 frames per second. You don't get to see them all flickering, so sometimes they look like they're not even there, and other times they look completely solid, so really depends what frame I initiate certain actions on, I guess. I'm recording in 30 frames to save on space, for one thing. But yeah, let's go ahead and swap to something that's useful for more than just its looks. Of course, we're not going to get to do much with it this episode, because this episode's over. Join us next time when we go to one of the other two places that are left. See you then, friends. <laughs>